When it comes to mainstream gaming, both Intel and AMD had great choices, but most of the time, users prefer AMD over Intel because of its low price and stock cooler. Intel launched their i5-9400F, which comes at a budget-friendly price and offers excellent value for its price. We have listed the five best motherboard for i5-9400F you can buy this year, and we tried our best to list out motherboards from every category. You can pick the best motherboard from this list according to your budget and needs. So without doing any further ado, let's start our list. To get more information on any of these product check out the links in description box below for more information. Now let's get started. At number 1 it's ASRock B365 MHDV. When it comes to budget motherboards for Intel 8th and 9th generation processors, I think there might be no other better option than the ASRock B365 MHDV. We put this motherboard on the top because of its low price and excellent performance with 9th generation processors. One thing I like the most about ASRock motherboards is their build quality as they are made with high quality fiber, which removes space between the PCB layers and prevents the board from humidity. You can install any mid-range processor on this board out of the box, but for high-end models, I would not recommend this one as you might upgrade your CPU in the future. The base of ASRock B365 MHDV is colored in black, while it has some diagonal white lines and blocks printed along with a circuit line, which gives a great look. This motherboard has 6 SATA3 slots and 1 high-speed NVMe slot, which is enough for any budget build. On the rear IOA panel, it has 4 USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, along with some other ports too for connectivity. The audio and networking controllers are powered by Realtek and Gigabit, which are cheap in price and exceptional in performance, resulting in lowering the overall cost of this motherboard. ASRock B365 MHDV is useful if you have a low budget, but I would recommend you to go with a better choice, because this board lacks some features. We all know that most users prefer excellent connectivity options, but this motherboard lacks the necessary USB Type-C port. The M2 slot on this motherboard is under the graphics card, and it is known as a warm place on the motherboard. Also, the space between the M2 slot and PCIe X16 slot is narrow, however, they don't block each other in any way. The controllers equipped on this board are of cheap quality, and I would recommend you to consider some premium choice of this chipset. ASRock B365 MHDV is placed on the top of our list because of its price and features, however, I would recommend this if you are not going to spend much on the motherboard. There are some great alternatives to this motherboard listed below for the same price. It would be much better if this board comes with an additional 2 DIM MIS and a USB Type-C port. At number 2 it's Gigabyte B365 MDS3H. In addition to budget motherboards for i5-9400F, we got another great addition, namely Gigabyte B356MDS3H, and it's slightly better than the one mentioned above. This motherboard is targeted towards budget users who don't want to spend much money on boards and looking for a cheap option. Gigabyte B365MDS3H is built with military-class components the same as those used in Asus Premium motherboards. The base of this board is colored in black with some gray circuits printed on it, which gives attractive looks. Thanks to Realtek for providing the best and cheap audio and networking controllers, which offers noise-free sound and lightning-fast speed. The motherboard mentioned before got two DIMMs, while this one has four, and supports memory up to 64 GB, which is enough for any gaming build. On the rear IOA panel, there are four USB 3.1 Gen 1 5 GB per second ports, along with some other connectivity ports. For storage, this motherboard has six SATA 3 slots and one M2 slot for NVMe and Wi-Fi modules. The best part of this board is the onboard RGB lights header, plenty of fan headers, and other options, which gives it an advantage over others. For all these fantastic features, you don't have to pay any extra money, and it's another best motherboard for an i5-9400F. This motherboard is way better than other entry-level or budget motherboards, however, it also lacks some features which modern builds need. First of all, the same as the motherboard mentioned above, this one also lacks USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-C port on the rear IOA panel. Also, this motherboard doesn't have that potential to run this processor on Max Turbo, while there are some other options for the same price that allows you to hit that clock speed. Gigabyte B365 MDS3H was no doubt a great gaming motherboard for budget users, but if it comes with all these features, it will be a more compelling option. 
As I've mentioned before that this motherboard is a great option, but lacks some features which other motherboards are offering for the same price. Just below, we have a premium option, which is slightly more expensive than this one, so look at it too. But still, if you can compromise on crossfire and lower clock rates for some money cut, you are good to go with Gigabyte B365 MDS3H. At number 3 it's B365 Phantom Gaming 4. ASRock has released several B365 chipset motherboards, and I've picked their premium motherboard in this chipset, which is B365 Phantom Gaming 4. I know pairing a premium motherboard with a budget or mainstream CPUs doesn't make sense, but this one comes with a budget-friendly price, which you can easily afford for this build. ASRock targeted this board for mainstream gaming and professional work, as it comes with all those features you need in a gaming build. The controllers on this board are a bit expensive and affecting the overall price of the board. This board has a black colored base with some red and gray stripes on it, and has RGB lights that look attractive in RGB builds. The 4DI mm of this board allow you to install 64 GB of maximum memory at the clock speed of 2666 MHz, and it doesn't support highly overclocked memory modules. There are several ports on the backside, including the 4 USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-A and 1 Type-C, and 2 USB 2.0, along with some other ports for connectivity. This board is available in ATX and MATX form factor, however, both of them have 6 SATA 3 and 3 M2 slots for NVMe and Wi-Fi modules, and their speed and bandwidth are identical. There are plenty of fan headers and an RGB lights header on this motherboard too. This motherboard is an excellent piece of product, but it seems a bit expensive for budget processors. However, for this extra price, we are getting much more, it has two PCIe X1 slots, and two PCIe X16 slots, and supports AMD Crossfire X in a quad way. However, we don't need that with this budget processor. The VRM cooling of this board is excellent enough that you can reach the max boost speed with it, however, you might need to go with some aftermarket cooler, because the stock will become much noisy with it. In the end, I will say that if you are willing to spend $100, this is one of the best MOBOs you can get for i5-9400F. At number 4 it's MSI Z390 A Pro. MSI Z390 A Pro is no doubt one of the best motherboards on this list, and it's only because of its chipset and great power design VRM. This board is capable of overclocking and running Intel 9th generation processors on its max boost, and that's what I like the most about this motherboard. The only motherboard in this list, which can run i5-9400F at its max boost, is this though motherboards like ASRock Pro B365M can also run it at max boost, but not at full potential. The looks of this motherboard are not that great at least for me, as it comes in a coffee-colored base with some black touch on it. Likewise, all other motherboards in this list also come with 4 DIMM, but there's something changed as it supports 128 GB of memory, with support of higher clock rates. It has 6 SATA 3 slots and 1 M2 slot for NVMe SSD modules, and offers excellent transfer speed. The rear IOA panel has plenty of ports, including the USB 3.1 Gen 1 5 GB per second, USB Type-C ports, and some other connectivity ports. The controllers on this board are those mostly used in the mid-range motherboard, and are not very expensive. Overall we can say it's a great piece of product for an affordable price, and offers excellent value. This motherboard has four PCIe X1 slots, and two PCIe X16 slots, and supports AMD Crossfire X in two-way, but lacks support for NVIDIA SLI. This board comes with every great feature. But it would be much better if I had some premium features like onboard Wi-Fi and RGB lights, which are missing in it. Though for its performance, we can compromise on these features. Also, the aesthetics of this board are a bit plain as it has a coffee-like color, which doesn't seem right to me not sure about others. But apart from these features, I found this motherboard one of the best option on this list. There are some other alternatives and other Z390 chipset motherboards too, but I wouldn't recommend you to go with them because they are way expensive for this price. I found this motherboard best for i5-9400F as it's affordable and has a great set of features. Also, wasting your money on some premium motherboards doesn't make sense because this CPU doesn't support overclocking, so the basic one is good for it. At number 5, it's MSI H310M Pro VDH+. As I've mentioned earlier, the 9th generation motherboard comes in three different categories, and there we got the most affordable or entry-level motherboard. 
Yes, MSI H310M, which is a micro ATX motherboard and comes with an H310 chipset and is compatible with Intel i5-9400F out of the box. The main difference between this chipset motherboard than others is the low number of USB and other ports and weaker chipset. MSI H310M Pro VDH Plus comes in black color PCB and some white circuit lines printed on it, which gives a great look in RGB builds. This motherboard has four plus two-phase voltage regulators, which is fed by a single 8-pin connector and delivers smooth power to the CPU and other components. It has two USB 3.1 Gen 1 slots on the rear IOA panel and has some USB 2.0 ports, along with some other connectivity ports on it. There are four SATA slots on this motherboard, which is acceptable, but the disappointing thing there is a lack of M2 slot, which is a significant need of every gaming build but for a price but you must have to compromise on some features that other motherboards are offering. This might be one of the cheapest motherboards on this list, and I would recommend this one if you are building an entry-level machine, and don't consider overclocking or max boost and other features. This board comes with a basic set of features that are required for every computer system, and those who are on a meager budget can consider these choices. Though in my opinion, you will have to pay an additional $10 to get a B365 chipset motherboard, which is way better than this one. But it's up to you as this processor doesn't support overclocking, and we can also consider entry-level boards with it. And with that we come to the end of our review. No matter what your tastes, I'm pretty sure you'll find something here that works well for you, and I'm confident you'll enjoy it. Until next time, have fun!